Go! Recording! Oh, welcome to the mobile support team for Mozilla. This is where we talk about Firefox for Android support and Firefox OS support. Um, if someone has probably put Firefox um, back into the channel, listening to it. Uh, we usually start with um, action items from last week. We had an awesome demo last week of the offline SUMO documentation app uh, that they're working on getting into the marketplace. So did people have follow-up thoughts or did people send feedback to SUMO Dev um, related to this or have ideas come up? Because that was a quick meeting with that demo. I thought it was super awesome, and we should put it in alpha in, as, in its uh, imperfect state. Yeah, totally. Tyler, did you have a yeah. chance to see it? You were here, weren't you? Yeah, I was here. 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 Yeah, I was Oh, yes, I haven't had a chance to actually think about that. Crazy with other stuff. So well, that's that. a release week, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I can imagine that uh, people would like to play around with it before they give feedback. And um, unfortunately, right now it's not online. Uh, so Shu Hao is working on, on getting it ready and we'll feed up that online. Will be a lot easier to actually play around with than the feedback. I guess that will be. I mean, you can always give feedback on that. It's just follow back. It will. Um, we will put it into the right place. They will take care of it. Um, but you might want to. So, so watching the video is great from last week. I think you will uh, still be able to, to get something out of that. But usually, it's easier to give feedback when you can actually play around with something. Um, so Sean was working on that. The main thing that I heard um, was about the images. That um, not having the images particularly for mobile, I think that this would also be a huge win for our, our carrier and uh, OEM partners. That um, if there's some way around the image issue, I know we talked about it a little bit last week, but that's about it being complicated. There's got to be a way. But, but yeah, I think like most of the instructions are useless without the images. Yeah. Right? All the images are very instructive. They're worth a thousand words. Especially on mobile, like desktop, you're right. It's not. Yeah, I think the concept, there are issues with actually the technical side of things, but I think they can be overcome. Uh, the biggest problem was the conceptual issue of when you download all the images, it's going to get very big. There is no way around that. Um, like it can only compress so much. If you download images for like the Firefox for desktop version has uh, about 200 articles, almost all of them have images, so it's going to be a huge download. Um, that is a conceptual issue. Then we can. Then we would have to find a solution for the multi solution for that. But yeah. I think for yeah. like our partners where they're um, there would be their agents using it um, on their uh, desktop computers, maybe that would be so prohibitive. So maybe we could give two choices, like a can you download it that one or something. I don't know. That was the only thing that came up um, that I heard. And this is what I think you would be other than it's screwing. Go ahead, Kadir. Uh, if you want to continue your idea, go ahead and direct. Actually, I just wanted to ask people like, if you have use cases for this, if you can think of how this might be used by actual users, that is the most helpful thing that you can give me uh, because then I can build on some of the ideas and talk about how to implement uh, those things to make those use cases possible. Uh, so if you have use cases, if you have uh, user stories of how this might be used, 
Like for example, I don't think of the carrier uh, and, and, and um, employers of the carrier because I thought they would be using a fixed internet connection anyway. But if you have, you know, so I didn't think of that. Uh, so you might have ideas or you might be thinking about use cases that I have no idea of. So please, um, can send me an email um, or you can, yeah, best send me an email or start the discussion on the forum or whatever you want to do. But uh, if you could give me if you could give give me feedback on that, how you imagine this to be used, or how you would like to see this being used, that would be incredibly helpful. Um, something that came up to my mind after spending some some time here in Colombia and seeing getting feedback from from users is that uh, they don't know they don't have a clear uh, um, clear expectations on what can be done offline and what can be done online. So uh, they are using not the alpha a lot, and uh, they complain about, first of all, they complain about uh, not being able to use it if they are offline because uh, it's, uh, it's a network to be connected to the internet, so our app could be quite cool for them. But on the other hand, they don't know, for example, that if they want to make a change, let's say uh, set up a team, they don't know if this can be made while online or offline, for them it's not clear. So I was thinking for our app, if it's not too, uh, too difficult to, to implement some tabs, maybe you know, like something to be near the, the article, like doable offline or doable online, you know, because for them it's a bit misleading if they can do if they can use internet to, um, I don't know, uh, set up something on their phone. I don't think that's you mean to tag in our docs and our sumo KV articles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something, yeah, like, something like for offline or for offline news or for online. Yeah, for them to know, for example, if you want to set up your email address, you need to be online. So even if you, you see the information on the Sumo app and you're offline, you need internet. And that's obvious so, to us, but not to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this sounds good. I will. Uh, <laughs> I volunteer <laughs> to write up an Etherpad with the use cases in the standard Sumo format that I will share with everyone who's on this meeting. And so the carrier case, the offline case, the, uh, I think it's also valuable for Sumo employees. I think it's valuable for people, volunteers educating themselves. I'll write up these things in the standard format and we'll see for you, Kadir, and everyone can update it. We only need one Etherpad, right? Just a whole bunch of use cases. Sure. Yeah, okay. I love writing Etherpads. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be that many. No, but we, you know, have them one place for Kadir and Sumo Dev to look at. Yeah, I think a few have emerged that, that you know, like, we have probably talked about the carrier ones. Hermina and I have, but not, not as much with this group, but as soon as you see that app, you think, oh, this could really help. Yeah, and we could easily add tags for offline online. It might be tedious to do it once, but I mean, as Michael Verdi says, you just, like, turn off IRC and do it two hours. <laughs> He always says, turn off IRC, focus. I like that. He's smart. Okay, other updates for Firefox. So as for this week, we have Help Article Day tomorrow. So um, we have a bunch of things we should add to the FAQ that we learned in the first month of having devices in the streets. So we should put together, um, and Rena and I are getting a little bit together to document. Should add to that thing to my monitoring on article day, and then we should stand up a stub article for everything that's new in version 1.1 and document it all in that one place um, instead of updating each of the articles um, right now. And we are starting to see some 1.1 documentation show up in our thing, so we want to be careful to have a plan for how to find that. Zero dot one, which is what everyone has for commercial devices right now. Um, so we have to turn on our article today and continue on the Firefox OS and the Help article for the news. We're doing a really good job. And thanks to everyone for answering the forum questions. We have a good number of forum questions, um, like, I don't know, 40 or something for first month in uh, Spanish and Polish. 
and English combined. Um, and then 170 pieces of input or something. But um, I would say maybe, I don't know what percentage of those we can verifiably say comes from a commercial device. But And I looked at the analytics yesterday, and we have, it looks like we have a good jump between um, last month and this first month, or uh, first month since the launch, and the month prior, our heart health article traffic has doubled, it's up 200%. So, so we can see that we are launched, but, um, and uh, we have a list on the dashboard of the top articles. Tells a, tells a little story, and we'll just keep watching it as people get further and further into using, using their phones and more, more devices with longer. Other updates for Firefox OS this week? Mm. Just to let you know that I'm, uh, I'm on Friday, I'm meeting with the uh, Wii Telephone Factory in Colombia, so I'm quite uh, quite happy about this. And, oh, her uh, meet is in Colombia. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you were in Paris, not Colombia. Okay. No, I'm in Colombia. So if you have anything you'd like me to, to touch on with them, please drop me an email. Did you go buy devices at a store today, Colombia, yet? Or are you going there? Uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, I have a, an issue with this because today it seems that Colombia Day or Bogota Day, <laughs> so nobody's working here. Uh -huh. There's always a holiday somewhere. Well, you know we uh, we're all alone here with uh, with our users. So it's, uh, oh, you're in the uh, uh, telecom. Oh wow, okay. You're the carrier. Okay. Sorry. Are you at the carrier or you're at the hotel? Where are you? No, no, no. And now we are in a in a research center. Okay, gotcha. Carrier research center. Okay. Yeah. I'll be I'll be into the on Friday. So uh, yeah, so I'll be flying calls tomorrow, and I will be sending them to you, Michelle, via somebody else. I'm going to drop your email. And the mules. You can come out, so you can do it in some more. Hey, thank you. I'm excited. And for uh, Alcatel device, I have no idea which one yet, actually. So, <laughs> so that's great. And I've been uh, watching. This is a user research study they're doing on. Uh, version 1.1 with the Alcatel device in Columbia. And so um, we're just getting a lot of great learnings out of this. It's, well, for the most part, feature only users um, doing diary study. So it's very, very cool. Oh, right, right. Well, her minute, my request would be if you see anybody using Android, ask them about their web browser. <laughs> or just look over their shoulder and say, oh, what? That's, is that Dolph? I don't know if you're allowed to do that. <laughs> no, this is very well organized. It's very complicated, all of the things that, that, that they have, that they're researching. It's, it's quite impressive, I must say. Um, so thanks very much for being there. Jane is there, too, this week. Mm -hmm. And um, Ralph will be there in two weeks to also observe and help. Uh, all right. So, anything else about Firefox OS? Okay, Roland, you're up. Our customer Ah, uh, we released Firefox 23 yesterday. So, the survey says Tyler. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have a few. Issues with Firefox 23 and Android 4.3. Um, yeah. On Nexus 10 only, it seems. Um, so if anyone sees people on the forums with 4.3 and Nexus devices, there may be some issues there. Um, we'll end up created an uh, article this morning, and then you put it in the hot topics, right, Roland? Yep. Okay. 
Um, since we are still in the beginning stages of the 23 rollout, we may see more issues come out later, and also we're in the beginning stages of the Android 4.3 rollout. So as both of those versions become more popular, we may see more issues later on. Right. Um, so can the meeting for those, um, Roland's going to be out of the office, um, was it next week, Roland? Monday to Wednesday, yep. So uh, you can pay me if, if he's out of the office as well. Yeah, so it's smooth sailing. Uh, we don't want to over-rotate on the 4.3 Nexus 10 issue so far. Uh, we've only had one one-star review. So it's great, great work to the engineering team. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Swarnava and all these other pe uh, volunteers who helped with the documents, especially Swarnava who helped at the last minute. I know I thanked him last week, but I, I like thanking him. And um, that's it for Firefox 23. Firefox 24 beta looks like it will be delayed until Friday. Um, but tomorrow is help article day. Woohoo! So I would like some help with the um, um, permissions article. I will put a link in to the permissions article. We have some new permissions in Firefox 24. Um, so if anyone's willing to help uh, edit that article with me, that would be great. We should get it done tomorrow in English. Um, and Firefox 24 has a whole bunch of new features. Um, when I finish this meeting, I will link to the research thread. Uh, volunteers have, and I can't remember their names, have unearthed most of the features. So we're good on research, and we're ready to start writing next week when the beta's out. And I have no news on Firefox 25 and 26. Uh, oh, oh, we're having. We, oh, I told. I talked to. Did we talk about guest mode? We are. Call, we're going to have a way for a guest to use your your Firefox or Android browser in 20. Five or twenty-six or twenty-seven. I heard about this last week. Yeah, from the program management update. That's pretty exciting. It is because there's a lot of concern about security and people using it. Well, if once you set it to guest, this guest, they don't want to use the word mode, but we'll call it guest mode in this just for this one recording. Then you can't you can't see bookmarks and stuff until it's reset. It's forever locked in that mode, and then you just unlock it, and then you're back to your normal. So basically, you, you hand over your, your, your Android device, tablet or phone or phablet, to your trusted person and your guest mode. Okay, I don't have any other updates. Oh, I do have one more update. We're going to try something new. If I can't get volunteers for, to write some of the articles for Firefox 24 next week, I will write a stub article just like Michelle and I did for Firefox OS. And they'll ask it, uh, hopefully get some volunteers, some new people to fill in the stub. Because I think it's nice to have a structure for your first one or two. Kind of like, I don't know, training wheels. But you won't need them very long. Just like a kid, training wheels don't last very long. One article, maybe. Two, maybe. Yeah, it's really helpful to put in a stub and then just put what needs changes in there. Yeah, Perfect. as opposed to the needs changes field, which is sort of hidden which we use as well. But you could put a little more detail into the stub article. Anyhow, I'll put a link um, into the research thread. I'll put a link to the guest mode. I'll put a link to um, the Firefox 23 uh, issues that we're experiencing, the very small number of issues we're experiencing so far with Android 4.3 Nexus 10. And keep an eye out. If you see any issues, let us know. Oh, I think you're raising your hand. Yeah, I heard about this. Well, Eva and I talked about his. He upgraded to four reasons in Android. And he had a lot of issues. And so, you too, Tyler? Well, I just wanted to tap onto that real fast just to give a little bit of context as to the exact extent of the 4.3. We have 3.8% of our users are on Android 4.3, so it's not a very large user base compared to, like, it's like fifth most used version of Android. Um, most users are on 4.1, and that's around 35% of our users. Um, that's good to know. So we do have a lot of users on it, but because 4.3 is only for Nexus devices and Google Play Edition, um, S4s and HTC runs, um, there won't be a ton of users that have issues with it right now. Thank and hopefully we can fix the issues that we have before more people start to control now. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll have, an issue, we'll have it fixed uh, for uh, 
If not in this cycle, definitely for Firefox 24. Fingers crossed. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I'll put in all the the carrier uh, the, the carrier use cases that we mentioned. I know I'll get it wrong, so I'm relying on Hermina, Ralph, and Michelle to uh, add it, and then I'll add the other use cases that we mentioned here. And please edit it. I'll send you guys a link. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye. 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 Bye.